Question 2. Y is equals to PR divided by M minus P square times R all raised to negative 3 over 2. A. Make out the subject. B. Find the value of R when Y is equals to minus 8, M is equals to 1, and P is equals to 3. First, we are asked to make R the subject of the formula that has been given to us. So we have this formula. Let's begin with the first one. A. We're given that Y is equals to P R over M minus P square times R and everything was raised to negative negative 3 over 2 negative 3 over 2 so we have that now the first thing I want to do here I want to remove this uh, power so that we can clear this bracket so what I'm going to do I will be multiplying this power this minus 3 over 2 this power by the multiplicative inverse of this this is what I mean this will be y raised to power minus 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 that is y raised to power minus 2 over 3 is equals to we have p r over m minus p square r then raised to power minus 3 over 2 times let me add a little here times minus 3 over 2 so i'm multiplying this minus 2 over 3 rather minus 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 so we have minus 2 over 3 so we are multiplying them by minus 2 over 3 2 over 3 so you find out that this minus 3 over 2 times minus 2 over 3 we clear out because 2 we take care of this this we take care of this minus take care of itself so we'll be left with one year everything here will be reduced to one so the whole of this bracket will be raised to power one in that case this bracket is open so we are now left with y raised to negative 2 over 3 is equals to p r over m minus p square times r so we are left with that we are making progress gradually we are making progress just pay attention as we continue now the next thing we will do here let's since this is kind of fraction let's make this over one kind of fraction so let's solve this fraction so we have m here we have m here so let's m be the lcm so m we go into m we, ha we have one so one times pr we have pr minus now one we go into this if one should go into this whole setup if one should go into this whole thing one should go into m we have m so m times p square r we have m p square r so we have that this is what we have and this whole thing is y raised to power 2 over 3 is equals to this whole setup so this is power this is power this is y raised to power that so and this is over one this is over one over one as well so that we can cross multiply so if y raised to negative 2 over 3 all over 1 is equals to pr minus m house mp square r all over m we can cross multiply this time this this time this this time this this time this so if we do that we'll be left with 1 times pr minus this will give us p r minus m p square r equals to m y raised to negative 2 
over 3. This is what we are going to have because this time this, this times this. We are going to have this. Okay, we are moving on. Don't forget our intention is to make R the subject of this formula. So we have R here, we have R here. So we can factor R at, we can factor that out. So let's bring that R here. We we'll bring that R. So R will divide this. P R divided by R will be left with P minus. If we divide this as well, M P square R divided by R. This R will take care of this. We have M P square. So we'll be having this. And this will still be equals to M Y raised to negative 2 over 3. Negative 2 over 3. So we have that. Now the next thing is to make R the subject of this formula. So if we can do that, then we are good to go. Now, if I divide both sides, divide here by P minus M P square, do the same thing here. M, okay, P minus M P square. So if I divide both sides like that, if I divide this side by this, this side by this, at the end of the day, this one, we take care of this. So when you divide this by this, this will take care of this. So this we cancel this. And we'll be left with R to be equals to, let me take that over here. R to be equals to M Y raised to negative 2 over 3 all over P minus M P squared. So we can leave it that way. Except if you want to simplify it further, you can as well bring out this P. So we can factor out that P. But let's stop here for the formula, subject formula. We stop here. So you want to simplify it further, you can just factor out this P. So let's stop there. So we have another question to solve with it. So if we factor it out, it may be... Let's just go. So for B the B, that is for A, for the B. We were given some value that uh, Y is equals to minus 8, M is equals to 1, and uh, P is equals to 3. Then we are asked to find the value of R. We are asked to find the value of R. So it's value of R that we don't know. So we have to look for that. Now we'll just substitute all this into this uh, formula that we have derived already. We substitute all this into the formula we have derived already. So if we do that, if we do that correctly, we'll be having our M is 1. So that is 1. I'm substituting all this into this. So all this, substituting all this into this so substituting all this into this will be giving us that so that our m is one our y is minus eight so times minus eight raised to negative two over three two over three now all over our p is three so i'm writing three there minus our m is one our m is one Okay. then we have an p here so p which is 3 3 square so we have 3 square so we have that now this will be equals to remember 1 times anything is that thing is uh, still the same thing so 1 times minus 8 raised to power minus 2 over 3 will be giving us minus 8 raised to minus 2 over 3 so we'll be having that all over now this is 3, minus 1 times 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, that is 3 times 3 which is 9, so minus 1 times 9 will be having minus 9. When we resolve this, now in indices, this is the same thing as having this, is the same thing as having 1 all over this minus, minus 2 over 3 that is the, the power here so this minus is the same as having 1 over now we don't have 
cube root cube root this is cube i'm trying to write cube root here cube root so let me put it inside that is cube root of minus eight cube root of minus eight now everything will be raised to power two everything will be raised to power two that is for this minus eight raised to negative two over three because the minus here becomes one over now this our minus eight we have our minus eight then since it's thin the power thin the the denominator is three so we are taking the cube root of minus eight and we raise it to the numerator so which is that now and this is divide by because here is division this division divide by three minus three minus nine three minus nine will give us minus six three minus nine will give us minus six so we can as well write this to be minus six over one if you like six over one okay i think we are making progress now i'm going to resolve this now this is the same thing as having one all over two square one over okay let's just say minus two square minus two square times i will change this to times this will be one all over minus six and if you solve this further you have one all over four times one all over minus six minus six which will give us equals to one minus one over 24 minus one over 24 so our answer becomes minus one over 24 now how did i come up with this minus two there the cube root of minus eight is minus two then you square square of minus two will give us four so we have one over four times this is anytime you have a division and you have a fraction by the right now you have to invert them that is the denominator becomes the numerator and the numerator becomes the numerator that is what i did here so change this from division to times so you multiply the numerator which is what i did to have one then four times minus six gave us minus 24. so the correct answer to this is minus one over 24 which is the answer to this equation mm -hmm.